In this video, we will show you some useful options for full denture features, which you can find in the Dental System Control Panel. When in the Dental Manager, simply click on the Control Panel icon in the taskbar. In here, we have a few options available for full dentures. Design Settings, Gingiva, and the Smile Libraries Chart. Let's start from the Design Settings. You can see that there are a few options here. Firstly, you have a checkbox for denture teeth freeform design. If you're going to enable it, that means you will be able to change the teeth shape. You'll be able to use more specific tools while designing in the dental designer. Furthermore, we can define if the occlusal plane is defined by the maxilla or the mandible. The initial placement of the teeth in the smile composer will be made to fit the occlusal plane accordingly in most of the markets. Alongside, you have the limit of the distal sides of the last molars, which helps to predefine reasonable dimensions and the positions for those teeth. And use Pons Triangle. Enabling this option makes the Pons Triangle visual guide available while placing posterior teeth in the mandibula. Now, going to the Gingiva page, we can change the pre-configured parameters for full dental design, such as Assembling Type, which provides a list of different assembling methods. Glue Space, that controls the amount of distance between each tooth and its placeholder surface in the denture base. You can also set the minimal thickness under teeth and the drilling options. Now go back to the main control panel page. The last option for the full denture is the Smile Libraries chart. In here you will see the list of available libraries. To be able to download more, go to our Download Center in the Tools menu. You can also predefine the material used for manufacturing the final restoration in the Basic Elements options. Going back to the main control panel page, in the Anatomy Elements, you'll have a new Artificial Teeth page. This page lets you edit an artificial tooth. Set the coupling mechanism parameters for teeth in blocks. For example, set the coupling depth or angle, rounding radius, fillet radius, the insertion direction tilt, and the insertion direction along the transversal plane. As well as set the connection parameters for teeth in block, like the amount of facial scale, from its initial shape taken from the tooth silhouette, the amount of lingual scale from its initial shape taken from the tooth silhouette and the amount of the connector scale controlling its concavity. At the end, save all the changes that were made and close the dental system control panel. You have now learned how to modify settings for full dentures in the dental system control panel. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.